you know that we had a little bit of an issue this past couple weeks with the white fox body here. So there's a reason why we're running around on Cobra R's. This is the turbo that was actually on the white car. We've had some issues. So unfortunately for the black turbo fox body, we had to take its turbo. Oh, get off. <laughs> you don't have to break that thing. It's only rated for 200 pounds. Oh. <laughs> so we had to make some changes in order to make the adjustments to the white car and to continue progressing this year with racing. After several years of beating the crap out of this turbo, it's time that it goes back and gets its upgrade, much like we did with the black Turbo Fox Bodies turbo as well. So to kind of catch you up to date, the ball bearing larger 127 housing by AGP Turbo is now currently in the white car here. This is a Junkyard 410 production block. Basically a 408 stroker with 40 over. And we expect some pretty good things from this as uh, we're about to head back to the dyno and do a little bit of tweaking on the tune. Okay. So we had to switch over to our dyno wheels, our old Cobra R's with our extreme drag radials on it. And we're gonna go put a little whooping on those tires. I've been sleeping for a couple of years, so. necessarily here going to the dyno to try to make more horsepower we spent most of the year trying to get the car a little bit better with the horsepower that it does make versus actually going out there and trying to make a big number because you can stick shift cars a little bit different the handle a little bit different than other cars a little bit more unpredictable and violent so figure if i can make 750 800 work for me 850 whatever we make then then i'll be happy with it but we got to be able to go to the dyno tonight and be able to turn it up i um, be excited to get it back up on the rollers. The tune is definitely different as that ball bearing turbo does spool pretty good. Now, normal routine heading over to the dyno. I got to stop over here at Giant Eagle to feed those guys over there, get us some coleslaw and some, some chicken and stuff. I got a pot pie this time. I ain't had a pot pie in years. I'm about to eat it up before we make some power. They're always appreciative of me bringing some food with them. So I know those guys is already hungry and shit. So. So we gotta get this thing strapped down. For those of you that... Really, dude? The only reason why we're here is we just put a ball bearing turbo on here from the black car, as I mentioned earlier, with the larger 127 housing. So I was driving the other day and it definitely was breaking up as soon as I got into boost. So that just tells me that the timing's in the wrong spot. The compressor map on the turbo is a little bit different than the other one that we had that was kind of beat up. So we're going to hit the dyno here and get this thing, uh, get this thing right on the old stock A9L. And watch Kevin curse at me for having to put four straps on here. I would definitely put a chain on this. But we do tune on quarter horse A9L, as you guys see right there. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna let the mad scientist do his thing as he's a way better tuner than me. All right, so we got no clicks in the wastegate. We haven't done any sort of boost. Should make about 10 or 11 pounds. Stripper 
splitter bros yeah you want a you want a bottle of that shit don't you yeah. it's 40 dollars i mean 50 dollars i mean 75 dollars <laughs> Pretty much where it kind of leveled out at it's peaked at 13.3 but it came down go over here where's that rpm at 5300 yeah that's about where it's going to stay at when i'm shipping so about 12 and a half pounds made like what six six forty seven hundred something like that yeah. man you just pour it on the damn tire no you don't you? i just sprayed it all over the tire to get you a shit dump it on the tires i'm spraying this guy, I mean, Stripper glitter? Did you get glitter in it? Cause it sticks everywhere. So we uh, made another run, about 12 and a half pounds there, you can see uh, the bottom boost, J-Box, whatever. It made, um, what did it make? It made 712, 776, we're at 16 degrees timing, whatever. So we're about to make another hit. We just added 16 more clicks to my boost controller, which is, we're at 16, now we're at 32. We're gonna see what happens, see where the air fuel's at. We're gonna adjust it in increments to try to see to make sure I got enough power. <laughs> Stay tuned. settings are like all over the place. Smooth it out. <laughs> uh, tack on, no problem. Yeah, a little tack issue right there, but Look, the fuel wasn't bad. 15 pounds it peaked at. 15.3, but came down, it ended at like just at 14 with 32 clicks, just where I thought it would be. I don't really count load. Um, and it made seven, what is it, 740, 915 wheel. All right, so we definitely had a lot of tire spin. That's what this little tack signal garbage is. We came in 11, 2, 11, 4, about 17 pounds. It leveled out to about 15 and a half, 16 at the top on summer and made just about 800. It'd probably be right around about 1,000 torque. I'm gonna sit in the back in this last run. What I had to do with the shock settings is I had them too loose for the transfer. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and sit in the back. I'm gonna actually bring the compression up in the rebound, go full tilt on the rear to keep the tires pinned on the dyno that's the problem we're having as you've seen and then we're gonna actually turn it up a little bit more and make a good number and be happy we send it home all right so last pull we made 800 uh, we're gonna go a couple more pulls but this will be the last one that i'm gonna record uh, this will probably be at like 17 and a half pounds
but go to the summary. Didn't really add much, but that's all because of the spinning tires. God dang, the tires are just spinning all over the place. But you know what? All we really wanted to do there is what's the fuel, what it looked like on the fuel cover at six grand. I think he needs to add a little bit. That's all I really care about. What was the boost at, at peak? 11-1, 12-1, what was the uh, boost peak at, 18? Okay, so that's, that's the load. All right guys, that's pretty much all we got for you for this video. We made some good ha horsepower, made, made north of 800, made a couple hits past that. Um, we're out of fuel. Spun the tires. Spun the shit out of the tires. Even with my fat ass sitting in the back, it didn't even matter, those little... <laughs> Somebody's stealing the car! All right, so we're spinning the shit out of the tires, but I think the we started... Oh, get off it. You don't get to break that thing. It's only rated for 200 pounds. Oh. <laughs> so, this, so this is... It's a kid's, it's a kid's one. The, so Dave drives this from his shop way over there to here. <laughs> This is not a professional establishment. <laughs> um, we came to the dyno, we make good power. We've been making power in our cars for years. We're not afraid to turn the shit up. We built it. It is what it is. We break something, we fix it. We didn't break nothing. We're not gonna break it. This is year three on that block. So I wanna tell you guys that we're still tuning here at TI Dyno. This is the owner. Like this is the guy that makes the most money here. And he's over here. How do you turn this thing on? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Taking it apart, you broke it! Can I get serious? Look, I'm trying to go home. You don't break anything. Yeah. This is bull. Baloney. <laughs> Baloney, thank you. Look, space wheels, stop it. All right, so anyways, we're Child tuning proof. still here at, yeah, Child Proof. All right, so I just want to let you guys know that we're still tuning here in all, all seriousness. We, we, we like to joke around when we come here to Dino. We're still doing the uh, binary editor. We do uh, Holly, we do. So if you guys still want to tune on binary editor, Get a hold of Kevin Cragen, TI Dyno, Cragen Automotive, or Dave Galk, Super Coops Unlimited. Uh, we're still tuning, uh, even though Quarter Horse is already gone, uh, we can still tune your Fox body, no problem, on Factory A9L or whatever. Hit them up, guys. We uh, made good power. I figured it out. Oh, Look out. Get the dude, dude, out there. <laughs> dude. He oh, gone. <laughs> yeah. With that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. We always have some fun. We come to Dyno. It's like 9 o'clock, we're all tired, so. Appreciate you watching. See you soon in the next video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>